So, uh, hey, um, oh god, I've forgotten what your name is, uh, guy who I'm doing the video response to here. Um, yeah, um, I'm a little bit skeptical of your ghost video, just a little bit. Um, I'm, the only reason I'm a, a tad skeptical of this is, um, I have, uh, I should introduce myself. I'm the practitioner, bachelor of science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, um, magician, and parapsychology, uh, and parapsychologist, well, parapsych researcher at any rate. Um, yeah, I'm a little concerned about, uh, about what I'm seeing in this vid for a couple of reasons. Um, one of which is the fact that um, your door only opens every time. We just simply hear a click and the door just opens. It doesn't open and shut or anything like that. Um, in some of the better Paris, in some of the better ghost videos I've seen, again, ones which were purport, also purported to be real, the uh, the go the door would always um, the door would always like open and close again. Um, but in your case, it only opens, and that actually, um, well, at least to me, uh, smacks more of trickery. Um, either by well, if not by you, then probably by someone else. Um, you know, I suspect that you're either being I suspect that you were either uh, duping us. Or if you are actually genuine in selling your house, I think you're probably being duped by someone in your household. Um, the first uh, telltale signs I think that you should probably check for are number one, the fact that the door is only opening. Um, a couple of techniques that it can easily be used on this. Um, well, one of the easiest ones is fishing line. Um, a line of uh, a remarkably long line of fi uh, fishing line is virtually almost in is virtually invisible to cameras. Now the thing is, again, it's it. Like magician's thread, it's the it's the next closest thing to invisibility. And what you do is you just tie a little knot of it around the door handle, and you leave the door uh, latch uh, just like just inside the door, uh, just on the door. So this way it clicks, but it doesn't you know like lock in place. And then all you have to do is just uh, tie it around uh, the front of the door handle and have the um, have the fishing line off camera. Then just pull, and the door will open, um, and nobody will be able to see it, especially in the dark. Uh, the second telltale sign is that um, you said you couldn't explain the orb or flash of light. Well, on the second clip, when it opens, that do, that isn't an orb. That's the light reflecting off the door. You can tell because of the way that the uh, because of the way that it spreads out and then so it starts to shrink as the door starts moving by. So um, chances are um, there was an external light source which was uh, reflecting on it. Um, probably that same light source that's got that little bit of white over on the uh, far side there, or a similar light source. Um, either way, I would suspect that um, again, you'll forgive me for saying so, and I'm not, I'm not saying that you're doing this. Perhaps for your point, you are genuinely concerned, and that's the reason you're selling your house. But if I were you, uh, I think that, uh, well, again, uh, uh, if you've already sold your house, then uh, you've been duped, because I think that I suspect that someone, um, I suspect that someone, uh, either you're pulling a trick on us or someone else. And I'm betting I could easily check this, so it's probably not the case. Um, I'm betting it's more likely that someone probably has duped you into thinking that um, into thinking that there's a, pol a poltergeist in your house, and is um, and you know being aware of the video camera decided to uh, uh, give you proof in order to try to make, uh, scare you out of the house. Um, this isn't the first example in history I've heard about this. Um, there was another example back in Poland back during the 1970s. Um, there was a, a case of where a mother thought she was being plagued by poltergeists, uh, uh, crockery, dishes, and the like were all flying all over the house. Well, anyway, they videotaped the room. Uh, I should mention that the, uh, the that um, the, the kitchen and her child's bedroom were both in the same room because it was a little small house in Poland. Well, anyway, some parapsychologists came in and actually decided to videotape the house. And what it turned out was that it was actually the little girl was um, was getting out of bed when the mother wasn't there, tossing crockery on the floor, and then climbing back into bed and went, "Mommy, the stuff went flying!" And of course, you know, basically, uh, you know, into the mom. Of course, it was a, uh, it looked like a case of poltergeist. But the video, in the case of the video, the little girl got caught red-handed uh, because she was, she apparently was just wanting some attention from her mom or something. So. <laughs> But you get the idea. I mean, like, um, it is entirely possible for you to be duped on this one. And um, if uh, if I were you, um, I'd put some controls in place to prevent fishing line and the like from being used. Um, one of the other ones I'd recommend is actually more than one video camera. If you can, um, if you can get a, um, if you can get, uh, say, about between three or four. Uh, if you can get three or four video cameras, and you can set them up in a concentric arc, all looking over the same area, then chances are, um, if anybody's attempting to, um, if anybody's attempting to, uh, and you have them on continuous record, 
Uh, check the time date stamps, and actually next time when you're presenting the videos, present the time date stamps in the lower right hand corner as well. Uh, this uh, or get you know get a camera which will actually record your um, which will actually record the date and time. And the reason for this is so this way um, so this way you can take a look at the overall concentric. Uh, the overall concentric circle. It'll make it considerably harder for uh, again, should the poltergeist have followed you or whatever. It would be, um, it could make, um, it would make things considerably uh, more difficult for anybody to cheat and attempt to uh, dupe you again. And um, th again, this is for future reference. And uh, finally, if you have the time date stamps, if there's any dislocation of time date or what have you, even if the shot seems smooth, then uh, it will be um, a fairly large indicator that somebody has tampered with your data. Um, you know, tamper with your videos or anything like that. Um, those would be really big uh, aids. Anyway, that's just me. Um, you know, again, just some controls I'm suggesting as a magician and as a filmmaker. Uh, you know, and, um, and parasitic researcher, like I said. Um, I can, like I said, I'm not saying you're doing the trickery. I mean, for all we know, it's it's genuine. Uh, for all we know, it could be that you genuinely are duped, um, or that you actually. Well, I mean, I'm betting you probably genuinely do believe this, but. I, um, based on what I've seen here, it looks like trickery to me. So just to be safe next time, put in those extra controls just to make sure that you're not getting duped. Um, other than that, um, that's just me though. Um, you know, I, I am a bit of a skeptic, um, I'll admit. Um, well, not so much, well, let me put it this way. Ghost phenomena may be possible, but at least here it doesn't seem like it is the case. Um, and again, it says may be possible, but again, I'm still researching that, random number generators, yada, yada, yada. Um, in my book, I'm not. I think the ghosts are less likely than telepathy, which are uh, less likely than most of the other phenomena we take for granted. So, uh, yeah. So let's just say that uh, it's in one of those. Let me just put it this way: it's in the um, Marcelo Truzzi, um, in one of his papers, suggested three levels of evidence uh, when come when it comes to extraordinary claims: suggestive, compelling, and um, irrefutable. Was it no? It wasn't irrefutable. It was. Um, Basically, it was uh, uh, you know irrefutable. I think was the other one that you know people couldn't try to refute it, um, or would be mad to try to do so. Um, I would say that right now, under uh, I would say the Gans and I'm just going to clarify this. I would say the Gansfeld experiments right now fall in between the suggestive to the compelling range, and uh, as do the presentiment effects and the retro psycho the retro and micro psychokinesis effects, um, and some clairvoyant studies, of course, as well, kind of fall a little bit in there. Um, the Gansfeld and the retro, the Gansfeld and the micropsychokinesis in particular are closer to the compelling level, uh, are closer to the compelling level in between. Whereas ghosts and uh, whereas ghosts precognition, actually no, the presentiment is also up there, uh, closer to the compelling level. But um, but most of the other stuff is down at the would be a lot closer to only the suggestive level, and uh, is not necessarily uh, required for as much of investigative research. That being said, um, again, like I said, I wouldn't say that any of them is anywhere near the uh, level of um, uh, 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 is anywhere near that le that final level of you know where it's irrefutable or anything. But I would say that at least uh, certain of the other better experiments, like the Gensfeld, the presentiment studies, these uh, retro psychokinesis and micro. Um, to, uh, other uh, clairvoyance type stuff. Um, I'd say large chunks of that are closer to the compelling level of research and therefore are worthy of more uh, of more of our time and attention for research. Ugh, got a watery nose. Well, anyway, um, I digress, um, but you get the idea of, the, of my points about this looking like trickery. Um, so do put in those extra controls uh, just to, if only just to prevent yourself from being duped. Um, keep up the good work, though, and toodles.